Jeffrey Brown. I'm best known for my Star Wars books like the Jedi Academy series, the Darth Vader and Son books, and the newest book is Ray and Pals. So we, we did an interview I think about seven years ago and none of that had happened yet. And I remember um, right, right after, I think you released the first one and you got an Eisner that year for it. Mm -hmm. And I, I managed to catch you, you know, at, at that ceremony right after. And uh, I, I asked you, has, has this changed uh, your, your career at all? Because I had talked to so many indie people and they would get awards for things and it didn't change anything. And you said, it changed my life. <laughs> so I, I, I wanted to check in with you again after all these years to see if, if that's accurate and, and how it's done so. Yeah. I mean, not, not just the word specifically, but just in general, the success of, of the Star Wars books just um, took, took my career to a different level, in t both in terms of what I could do creatively and then also financially, the stability that, that's come with um, knowing the Star Wars books sell so much better than any of the autobiographical stuff I did like on my own. Certainly better than anything I self-published. Um, probably better than everything else combined, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. Wow. So, um, and then creatively, just the success of those books has um, allowed me to, to pitch other projects that, in a way that maybe p bigger publishers wouldn't be um, is open to if I didn't have like the track record with the Star Wars books. Hmm. Started, started with Google. Um, they uh, asked me about doing sketches for a possible Google Doodle with Luke and Darth Vader. And my son was four at the time, so I thought it made sense to, to have Luke be four, Vader, put Vader in my shoes, did up the sketches, and Google ended up not using them. But um, I knew Chronicle, who I'd worked with, uh, also, I worked with Lucasfilm a bunch, so I thought if I took the idea to Chronicle and Chronicle took it to Lucasfilm, um, maybe they would be up for, for making it into a book, and they ended up um, like liking the idea and, and working that out. So Wow. Now, um, do, you, do you know why, why you were asked to do that originally with Google? Uh, so, well, so the guy, Google has a Google Doodle team that normally does those doodles, like, so... Like you know, like when they did the Pac-Man and like it was like an actual game. Like they, there's a whole team of people that programs that, and then if it's just a static image, they do that. But every once in a while, they'll bring in an outside artist to to do something. And the guy that runs the team, I had met years before at a small press expo. Um, I think before he even worked at Google. And so he was familiar with my work from years before, and. Um, so he knew my, my autobiographical work, which is all, all awkward everyday moments. He knew I had also done humorous science fiction uh, parody comics, and he knew I'd um, become a dad, so I might relate to like like all those things kind of like fit what their idea was like for you know let's do something with Luke and Vader and how awkward an everyday moment would be between them. But was that your idea to to go in that direction with the? Well, like, their their general idea was like just the basic like like aw how awkward would it would it be between them, and then for me it was like then I I took it to the personal level of like my son Oscar being four, and so like actually if you look at how I draw Oscar as a cartoon character and how I draw Luke it's like very similar um, design but Luke just has diff the different haircut in Star Wars clothes. And so, um, so that was my my take on on what, excuse me, their, their initial their initial idea was like of of that awkward everyday moment. And so it's like taking it to the like the parenting angle was kind of where I went with it. Yeah, that's great. So um, let let's talk real quickly about ownership of of this since yes. it's Lucas. <laughs> um, I assume everything you create is theirs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, um, so all the, like, foreign editions, if they do any licensing, like, use it for clothing, like, I, I don't have any say or participation in that. You, you um, got the, the, the 
flat rate up front, and then yeah. So I get royalties in the books. Okay. So um, and but I knew that going in, and I and the the way I look at it is like I could I don't see it as like the the same thing as if I had created the characters. I certainly didn't create the characters. And there's a ton of people who have put work in to develop the characters to get them to a point where me doing this book could have the, the kind of success it has. So, um, and again, like it's it's also like these books have led to to other stuff like that I can do my own thing and do get to like participate in all like the extra uh, licensing or merchandising or whatever it might be. Um, so overall, like it's you know, even if like on the one hand it would have been a bad deal if if it was my own creation, I like that was the setup. Like I like for for what it is, the amount of work it is, and like the type of work it is, and what it's what I've gotten out of it, um, it was definitely worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about how these these are books for children, but a lot of your work has has really not been for children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I started out, everything was, was really for adults. It's, um, and um, I did, like, some of my humorous stuff, I like the Change Bots, the Transformers parody. Um, I, I've always looked at it as all ages friendly. So it's not written for kids, although, I, like, there's a ton of kids that really enjoy them, especially if their parents are really, were really into Transformers. Um, and even the Vader books uh, started out. I was my idea was to write. I was writing for parents. I was writing for people like me who grew up with Star Wars and now have kids. And it, it was just I I left it so that they were again kid friendly. Like I didn't want to you know cut off and like I wanted them to be something like if a kid looked at it with their parent it'd be okay. But I didn't anticipate like how much kids would like them. Like kids like them as much or more. Than the parents. Yeah, that I, that didn't even cross my mind that those those aren't books for kids. They're books about kids for yeah. parents. Yeah, well, and, and I I think what what happened is is like so parents see see these situations and they see like from their perspective and kids kids are dealing with the same situation as kids and so they they look at you know like this the situation where Darth Vader is trying to like tell Luke to pick up his toys and Luke's not listening. Like they relate to that and they think it's funny because Luke's not picking up his toys. Yeah, right? so, yeah. Um, so I think you know, it was one of those things like I didn't really plan it that way but it, like it worked out like that, that both kids and adults appreciate yeah, yeah. The, the humor. Mm.